open here. I have to hook them up to L1 and L2 to be connected in the chain or if we need to use the thermo thermostat. To the ceiling. So. Right. Today we received the infrared heater uh, Belux that we need to open and install. This part is going to be hooked to the ceiling. So the next step is flip this box over so we can see the picture of the panel itself. Next step is to open the box. And as we can see, it comes with gloves and couple manuals. So the most important thing, do not touch the panel without wearing the gloves. We got to pull the gloves. So first thing, what we need, we probably need to have a um, screwdriver. Screwdriver does not come together with the infrared heater, but I'm sure every household does have a screwdriver. So, and the next step is to put the gloves on. Once you put the gloves on, at that moment, you can start touching your infrared heaters, especially the panel, because it's very important to not touch it with the, your hands. Okay, we are good now. Okay, as I said, we need to have a screwdriver and open the uh, infrared heater. So as you can see, there is a sign open here, which we're gonna remove now. We don't need this anymore. And there is two screwdrivers that we need to open just to, you don't have to touch anything else and you're never going to use the screwdrivers again. So once we open them, okay, two screwdrivers out, I'm going to put them on the side. We're not going to use them. Okay. Next part. You're grabbing the infrared heater, flipping over. It's okay to touch the panel because we are using gloves. And now we have to open this box because it does contain the rest of the parts that needs to be for that needs to be used for installation. Okay. Once it's open, the next step is to take the pieces out. That's what it comes with. This pieces we need to have for installation. That we're gonna screw to the ceiling. We will probably use the chains or the idea is just to be hooked here. But we could also use extension chains that could be hooked in between if you need to have a different distance between the ceiling and uh, here. Okay, next step is to, we have to hook the infrared heater to the wires. The wires will come from outside from that hole, and then we have to hook them up to L1 and L2 holes here, as we can see on the picture. That's how it's gonna be. As soon as the wires connected here, then uh, it will be connected to electricity. We also have a special piece that comes with it and it's going to be just uh, placed here to close the hole, but you can adjust it depends on of your wires like diameter. That's it. It's going to be put here just for security reasons, not for anything else for security. Okay. Once we're done with the putting the wires through the hole, connecting them to the box, this step is done. We could just safely close the box. The next step, there is a, um, some information if it's going to be connected in the chain or if we need to use a thermo thermostat. There is some details for it. The next step is going to be to hook, um, to hook the heater to the ceiling. Details could be found in the manual. Details could be found with the manufacturer as well while contacting them. But the most important thing to place the ceiling, uh, place the heater on the ceiling, not next to the wall. It has to be from a special distance from the ceiling, distance from the wall, and distance from any object sitting next to it. So it has to be under like open space so it could 
uh, cover the most uh, area of the floor. So as we have it, we're gonna flip it over now and we will pretend that we already know and measured everywhere where we're gonna put it on the ceiling. And at that time, these hooks are already installed and we're just gonna bring the heater up and hooked it up to the ceiling. So at the end, it's gonna look something like that. Okay, final step, once we have already our ceiling uh, infrared heaters installed to the ceiling, as on this picture, is gonna be to install thermostat on the wall. There's a couple rules how to install thermostat on the wall. We will give details on a separate video, but the most important thing is that it should not be next to the windows that the street sunlight are affecting the thermostat. It has to be um, on a special distance from the floor, 59 inch. It was already like um, investigated and we know that this would be the best. But for more details, how to install, where to install in your room, we will take a separate video and it will be provided.